Making sounds and turning them into music is as, as old as civilization. Every culture does it. But music can also make you feel something. And to understand how to do that, you have to know about pitch and volume. I'm here to meet Ian Livingston, a composer, to find out more. How important is music in film and television? The music can really help enhance the emotion of what you're seeing on screen. I can show you just how important it is, actually. I've got a clip here, and if you watch it without music at all, it's quite meaningless, really. You can't really tell what's going on. It's just two children running, and that's all you know, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's what the pictures say. Exactly. So now if I play it again, and I'll play one type of music and see how you feel. So what do you think about that? I immediately think they're having a great time. It's yeah, a happy, yeah, exactly. happy autumn day, yeah. and they're running through the park nothing playing. Whereas if I played it like this, It's completely changed the, the feel of the film, hasn't it? So now, something bad is definitely going to happen. They're either running away from something bad or they're running into something bad, but it's just completely different. <laughs> that sounded really unsettling. So what's the difference between those two pieces of music? So it was the same melody, but I was using different combinations of notes. The first time round, they were much more easy on the ears, you know, they were nice sounds together, but the second time I played, they were a little bit more kind of jarring. And I noticed that you played it a bit lower down the keyboard as well, the dark and sinister one. You were using lower pitch notes. Yeah, it just gives a darker kind of sound to the whole thing. Um, when you play it quite high up, it sounds very bright and kind of innocent, and then you play it lower down and it's just a bit darker and kind of more unsettling. The other thing was the, the volume changes. So the happy one had more of a sort of even volume, whereas the, the scary one was a bit quieter, but then loud. It's almost like a shock moment where the music just really makes you kind of, you know, jump out of your seat. So when you're composing music, there does seem to be some, some techniques, some ideas, some, some rules, Absolutely. if you like, you might use. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, most of what I do, and it's just instinctive, you know, I'm not thinking about the rules, but um, the, the rules are all there in the background, behind the scenes. 